<laughs> Students, I would like to give you a midweek nature challenge. Next time you see a big stump of wood that's been sliced smoothly like this, I'm going to show you what you can learn about it, all right? I have figured out that this tree was 80 years old before it was cut, but how? So if you look at the layers of all this wood here, let's start at the outermost layer with the bark. And that bark is dead bark, and then there's a layer of living bark. And then, then a layer called cambium. And then all the wood that carries the sap and the nutrients from the photosynthesis, that's called sap wood, and then heartwood right in the middle. And if you find lines on a tree, you can actually count one line, two line, three line, four years old, five years old, six years old, and it tells you how old the tree is because as the tree grows, it grows fast through the summer and fall, and then it slows down in winter, and then fast again during the warm season, especially when there's leaves on the tree, and then slow again. So season by season, it makes a new line. So that's how I was able to count from the middle going out that this tree is about 80 years old. I would love for you to give that a shot. If you see a smoothly cut tree trunk in the neighborhood or in a nearby forest, and I almost cannot believe my eyes. It is spring and we've stumbled across a caterpillar. This is gonna grow into an Isabella tiger moth after it goes oh, through <laughs> goes through metamorphosis. It's nicknamed a woolly bear. You <laughs> normally walking. you normally see these what these woolly bears in fall. Wow, it's marching along. We're gonna need to go put it back into a safe place.